What's up everybody? Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today I'm going to cover Burmese python growth rate. So I've had a lot of questions, people asking me what do adult Burmese pythons look like and how quickly do they get there. I think there's a common misconception of Burmese pythons in general that they're these huge massive snakes that require giant enclosures. A little bit of that is true. You do need a large enclosure for a Burmese python and they can get very large. But the growth rate of them and their actual adult size in my opinion is a little bit overrated so I'm gonna show you a couple of them and I'll also not really even get into feeding on this one but a lot of people I find get these giant fat snakes because they overfeed so two things I use with uh, all snakes and especially large constrictors are some snake hooks so I usually use this little one if uh, it's not a very big snake I can just kind of get in there tap their head and get, come in there and grab them with my hands uh, this is for more of the larger snakes so I'll kind of pull a few out and I'll show you what I have. I have some snakes over here. I've got about six or seven of them. I'm going to show you all Burmese pythons at different life stages. So this first one I'm going to show you is a uh, male or female blizzard. I'm not sure what we have. This is a female blizzard. So this is an albino uh, super hypo. And this is one of this year's babies. She was born in June, July, uh, to give you a reference. So she's about six months old. Uh, this girl right here. You know, give or take a month or so. So this girl, so she's about a six month old Burmese python. And I feed my Burmese pythons moderately. I don't want to get them huge. I don't want to get them really fat. Uh, she could probably grow faster than this. If I, if I fed her a couple times a week, she would get very large very quickly. But I found with breeding and overall general health, a lot of Burmese pythons you see don't live to become adults because people overfeed them. They're feeding the hell out of them because they want the end product. In my opinion, it's better to feed them reasonably once every week, uh, a medium-sized prey item, something that will put a small lump, uh, and, uh, and that's going to give you a really nice adult snake that's going to become a good breeder, and a nice pet if you just want a pet. Uh, a lot of, again, a lot of the problems I see with Burmese pythons is people want that 15-foot snake immediately, and it just takes time. So this, again, six-month-old or so, uh, super hypo uh, albino. So that's that guy. I'm going to pull out the next one I'm going, to, I'm going to show you guys is one of last year's babies. And let's see if I can get this guy in. So one of last year's babies, and this one is a pearl. So this is a hypo, um, hypo albino. It's a little hissy, and also Burmese pythons can generally be uh, very vocal. They will hiss before they bite, or hiss more often than they'll bite. So... Let me just get her out. I'm just going to do a little tap on her head, come in behind her. And again, so here's this girl here. And uh, she is about a year old, uh, maybe a year and a half. She's probably on the smaller side, but at the same time, I, I do like to grow them slower. Uh, I feel that they have better results with breeding. They have better results just health-wise and overall. If you really pound them with food, you're going to have some problems... Uh, with, with just their, their respiratory tract, I found that they don't have any t any time to sit there undigesting food. They're always digesting. puts a lot of stress on their body, and uh, it can really lead to some future problems and complications. So this is, again, I don't know, maybe she's about three feet, three and a half feet, and a beautiful snake, really nice, healthy weight. And that's, that's what you want your snakes to look like. I've seen some six-month-old Burmese pythons that look very similar to this. And uh, it's really because people are just feeding them like crazy. So that's, uh, that's those two there. I'm going to pull out some larger ones now. So, and I have a spread here just to give you an idea of how differently they can grow. Uh, this next one I'm going to pull out is an albino. And she is she's probably about four years old. Maybe a, little bit, maybe a little bit older than that. She's very small for her age. She just never really took to feeding. So she's a slow grower. Uh, really gentle snake, really nice as she's hissing at me. But uh, so this is a female, maybe four years old, fed moderately. I uh, shouldn't even say that she's a slow grower, but she was definitely fed moderately. She wasn't pounded with food. If uh, age wise, she's probably old enough to breed. She's maybe six or seven feet right around there. Um, still, like you see, very healthy, strong, muscular snake. A lot of Burmese pythons you see are fat. Uh, this snake is, is just all muscle, and, and I think that's a big problem you see with Burmese python keepers in general is they want these giant fat snakes, and they have the potential to get there. 
Same thing with people. People can become 600 pounds if they keep eating and all they do is eat and be kept in this small box, but their environment is different. So here's this snake that you have that's a really nice, healthy, perfect weight, really perfect body tone. She's again four, maybe even five years old and, and just a perfect shape. Could she breed? She might. She might even have follicles right now at this size. So again, they don't even need to be these giant snakes to breed. She'd probably have a small clutch if she did have any. I haven't palpated her, and I don't plan on breeding her. Maybe she'll breed next year. I still need. To, I personally think she needs more size before I even attempt to breed. Now that's a female. Um, females and males, they will grow at different rates. Males will generally grow a lot slower than females. So. I'm going to show you a male right now, and this male is about six years old. He is one of my breeders. He's bred multiple times for me, and you'd probably be a little surprised in his overall size. So he's having kind of a little bit of stuck shit on his back. But this male here is about five, six years old. He's bred for me two, three years in a row, and that's him. I mean, I'm, I'm about six feet, and see, he's about maybe six, seven feet, and really... Again, nice, healthy snake. He's been breeding right now, so he's not as fat as I would like him. I'd like him to have a little bit more mass on him, but he's going, right now he's feeding about once every month, so he, his feeding's a little bit slower. Uh, he was a little bit fatter, a little bit heavier going into the breeding season, but this is an adult male Burmese python. They can get much bigger than this. They can get 12, 15 feet as an adult male. 15 feet is rare. The average adult male is going to be shooting around 8 to 12 feet. But uh, he's about maybe seven feet. If I get him large, he won't breed. And animals that don't breed tell you a lot about the snake and about the animal itself. Because uh, an animal that won't breed tells you that it's either too fat to breed, it's not healthy, it's too focused on other things. So if my animals don't breed, it's telling me something's wrong. Uh, whether there's a health issue or whether it's just they're just too obese to breed. So that guy right there, again six years old or so five or six years old i've had him since he was a little baby i did feed him pretty good and that's about where he is he'll get larger than that if i start pounding him with food but similar to boa constrictors you don't want a big fat snake so here's a female that's probably about the same size and i don't know how many of you guys are new followers or new subscribers if you haven't checked out my first how to handle an aggressive or defensive snake this is the one of the girls that i pulled out this is actually the one that came shooting out at my face. So if you haven't checked that out, check that one out to show size reference. I did that video about a year ago. So here's a video or, or here's a video of, of this same snake about a year later, and you can maybe gauge the growth rate on the same snake. Uh, this girl's become really handleable since then. Uh, she's probably about three, four years old now. Uh, really beautiful snake. She's a hypo, and uh, she's possible head caramel albino labyrinth green all this stuff on the other side so she's maybe eight feet uh, she's about the size where they would become to become breeders uh, she may breed for me this year if i tried i might give her another year i think i'd want her a little bit larger than this female snakes they'll average between 10 to 14 feet so males about 8 to 12 females about 10 to 14 a uh, little heavier bodied, as you can see, she's got some good weight on her, but she's still all solid muscle. Um, that's really important. You're going to see on the last snake I pull out, she's an older one. She's maybe about 10 years old, 9 to 10 years old, but a uh, really pretty snake, real good muscle tone. This is what a Burmese python should look like and feel like. If they're round like a basketball, it, they're too fat. It's just the way it is. People don't like to realize that. Everybody wants a big snake but they don't want to wait the time to get there. These snakes will get there if you just give them time and you feed them right their whole life. Me personally, I don't want them to be huge. It's just a problem uh, for their health. It's a problem for housing and space, feeding. So that's what I have here. This last girl here, this one you guys may or may not have seen pictures of. This one's Grape Nut, and I'll pull her out. So this is an adult female Burmese python. She's uh, whew, she's heavy. She's maybe maybe 80 to 100 pounds. She's got a good size uh, meal in her, but again, she's solid muscle. Uh, I usually don't put snakes around my neck 
or let them that close to my face. So that's a tip that I'm showing you not to do. But you can see her body tone is nice and solid. This isn't fat. This is all muscle in here. Um, this tail is, again, she's got a male and uh, she'll probably be going to the bathroom soon. So she's maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 feet, if I had to guess. Maybe a little longer. Uh, yeah, she's maybe 11 to 12 feet. So really pretty snake. This one's a granite. She's head albino. And um, so really beautiful animals. And if you're looking for a big snake, a Burmese python may be the one for you. Maybe start with the male. If you're not sure if you want them to be super big, this is a female. She'll get bigger than this. She'll probably get another foot or so, uh, maybe a couple feet. Again, she's probably about... Shit, I don't know, maybe 8 to 10 years old now. I know I've had her for at least 6 or 7 years, and um, she's just a really pretty snake. When I got her, she was super small. But whenever you're holding large constrictors like this, it's important to take precautions, have somebody else in the room with you. If she did decide to do anything to me, uh, bite me and wrap me, and she tucks her head and her tail in, I wouldn't be able to get her off by myself. I'd need somebody else to really help out. So I feel it's important to take those precautions. Maybe I could get her off, but if she wraps me in the right way, I can't. So they can be, uh, you need to be responsible with these snakes because there can be consequences to it. Um, she's, you can see, she's super calm, very friendly, and uh, she will make a fantastic pet uh, if you take the time as babies and raise them up right. Burmese pythons in general are much slower moving than a reticulated python or other large constrictors. She'd be happy just hanging out like this all day. Once she's out now that she's calmed down, I could take her to the couch and sit down and she'd be happy to sit there and curl around me for an hour or so. So really pretty snakes, beautiful snakes. Uh, she gets fed once every couple weeks to a month, depending on the size male I feed her. And she is a breeder, so she'll drop maybe 40, 50 eggs. And man, she is holding me tight. I don't know if you can see her grip on me right now, but she's because she's sliding down, I can really feel her strength. And extremely strong animals, beautiful snakes, can make an awesome pet, great show animals, and hope you guys enjoy. So this was the snake, these were the videos, or these were the snakes, this was the video. Give me some comments. Maybe I'll do another video on Burmese python feeding like I did with boas. And uh, we'll keep it moving forward from there. I appreciate you, everybody, subscribing. The channel's grown, which is fantastic. So thank you guys for the support. I'm going to put these snakes back because I'm sweating and it's hot. And, man, she's heavy. So I appreciate it again. Thank you guys for watching.